So in ammeter, we calculate uh, shunt resistance. Right, and in voltmeter, we calculate what is this uh, larger, larger resistance. So these are four topics uh, we will cover. Okay. So let us uh, quickly talk about this. Uh, yeah. So let us start with this. Uh, Right, cell and uh, internal resistance. We have this part, whatever part we have done in the NCRT, I will just quickly write it down. So you have this uh, cell, which has an EMF uh, E, right? And you have, you have this internal resistance due to some uh, electrolyte, uh, material of electrolyte, this has some internal resistance, right? And when you connect uh, this with some uh, load resistance, so this is the simplest circle of uh, a cell connected with the load resistance, right? So there you have, uh, you have three conditions. One is that this cell is uh, discharging, right? So if cell is, uh, cell is uh, discharging, So if cell is discharging, then the terminal, so terminal uh, voltage or terminal potential difference, this is uh, they can write it as Vt or whatever you write. So this would be E minus of I. And uh, the current, in this uh, circuit, so current in this circuit would be this I, and what is the voltage which is uh, flowing? So E, E by, and uh, whatever is the total resistance, so R plus R. So always uh, remember this, uh, right? Always uh, remember. Whenever you have a cell, so this is the current which is uh, flowing, right? through so this uh, external resistance, load resistance. So this was the case for cell which was discharging. And then let's say you have a cell in which you are supplying the current. So in the first case, the current was coming out of uh, this cell. Now you are supplying some external current to this uh, cell, which has some internal resistance. So then the terminal potential difference, this would be E plus I R. This is a charge. And uh, the third case is that, third case is that uh, you have, uh, yeah. So the third case is that you have this cell and uh, this internal resistance, and you connect the positive terminal of this cell to the negative terminal of uh, this uh, thing, right? So then this would be short-circuited, right? Because you are connecting the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So this would be short-circuit. Uh, R is uh, zero which means that uh, yeah, so your current would be E by this R in zero, right? R plus R, so this R in zero, so your current would be E by R. Right. And uh, there will be no, so potential difference would be zero, right? So then this is the condition for short circuit. And then, what happens when you combine uh, the different kind of uh, so combination of cell? So first one is the series combination. So you have uh, these kind of uh, combination. First cell. Then second uh, cell, 
and uh, yeah let us uh, study about the first uh, kind of foundation first this is the, the external resistance this is r1 this is r2 this is e1 this is e2 so this all these are discharge right then the e equivalent uh, would be e1 plus e2 and r equivalent would be r1 plus r so your current would be simply e equivalent divided by r equivalent plus r. so always uh, remember if you know that i is uh, e by r plus r then from there you can calculate uh, right so this would be the series combination and uh, let's say that uh, this is uh, connected uh, with the opposite polarity right so let's say that uh, this is connected in this way. so this cell and then negative and then positive and then uh, this cell so this has internal resistance r1 this is r2 and now this is a uh, connected to the resistance so then E equivalent because this is discharging and uh, this is charging, right? So if this is uh, charging, then uh, yeah, so then this would be E1 minus E2, right? And uh, R equivalent would be C, R1 plus R2 and i is uh, again e equivalent by r1 r equivalent plus uh, r this is uh, the series bound oh what uh, the Yes, uh, hello Rabia, Assalamu alaikum. After a very long time for joining. Yes. Yeah, so we are just, uh, we are discussing uh, these uh, slides. So in today's lecture, we will uh, talk about cell combination of cell, catch up law, bulk problem right uh, the power of different uh, bulb and then amateur so then this uh, chapter third chapter okay so please uh, note down from uh, here uh, rabia please uh, note down this is the third chapter whenever you have noted down this part please uh, Yes, uh, yeah, you got uh, disconnected, so please uh, note down, uh, please note down these portions, okay. Please note down these portions, then we'll do one question, and then we will move on to the, yeah, so then you move on to the kid job. Please uh, note down from here, yeah. Yeah, and whenever you guys have uh, noted it down, please let me. Whenever you want me to scroll down, please. Scroll. Okay, yeah, so down. Okay, so this part you have. So please uh, talk this one.
Yeah. Okay, so then uh, please. Uh, so in here you see, this is this part is uh, this part is uh, discharging, right? This part is uh, discharging, and this part because in the positive terminal the current is coming, so this part is charging. So that is why. We have this E equivalent, which is E1 minus. So always remember that when all the positive ones are connected, so all, so this uh, if these are in this way, alternate way, right, then all the negative ones are connected with positive one. All the negative ones are connected with positive ones, right? Then these are the same polarity. But if in between whatever is changing, so let's say this is uh, connected uh, like uh, right. Then let's say this is E1, this is E2, E3. So E equivalent would be simply E1 minus E2 plus E3. Whatever is connected in the opposite. Okay, noted everyone. And this is uh, always uh, the same formula. This is uh, always okay done. So this is uh, this was uh, the series combination, and uh, in parallel combination, what do you have? So the second one is uh, parallel uh, combination. In parallel combination, again, you have this EMF, this EMF, and this one is connected to some load. Okay, so let's say this is E1, R1, this is E2, R2, and this is uh, your R. So in this uh, case, the E equivalent, by R equivalent, this is uh, equal to E1 by R1 plus uh, E2 by R2 plus uh, E3 by R2. And uh, yeah, so there are only two uh, things, so you can write. Uh, and then you can write uh, the E equivalent as uh, E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R2. This is the E equivalent in parallel case and uh, R equivalent, 1 by R equivalent is uh, 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R2. So there are only two ones. So these are the, this is the equivalent internal resistance and this is the equivalent EF. Right, and again you can write uh, the current as uh, E equivalent divided by R equivalent plus R. This is uh, the current. Okay, and uh, yeah, so and then we can have several uh, different kinds of uh, combination. So in the special cases. In uh, special cases, uh, what do we have? So we have a uh, similar, this is has a uh, similar uh, resistances and uh, so, we have N, uh, type of these uh, cells. So we have up to n uh, terms. So we have n uh, terms of these uh, cells. Then what would be the E equivalent, right? So this would be R. So these are series combination, right? So n series uh, combination. 
So E equivalent uh, would be simply E1 plus E2 plus uh, E3 plus so on up to En. And those are all equal. So E plus E plus E plus up to N terms. So that would be N. This is E equivalent. And R equivalent would be similarly N R. Right. Then, then this would be how much? Then the current uh, would be uh, E equivalent divided by R equivalent plus R, which is N E divided by N R plus R. So we can have uh, different uh, cases, right? So let's say that uh, we have R to case one. We have R which is greater than R, right? So then we can neglect this one and current uh, would be simply NE and we can write NR plus R equal to NR. Because this one is very larger now, so this we can take. So this is NR, so I would be simply E by R. Okay, and uh, the second case would be that uh, the external resistance, that one is very large. So then I would be E equivalent divided by R equivalent plus R. So this is uh, NE divided by NR, NR plus uh, R. So this is, uh, this is very small. So this would be simply NE by R. So these are the two cases for series combination. Similarly, we can have this uh, parallel combination as well. So special case uh, second, let us write it as one. And then special case uh, second is uh, that we have uh, so E R and uh, we have N or let me write it as M. So M uh, parallel combination. So M parallel uh, combination. So for this case, we know that uh, E equivalent is uh, E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 and uh, plus so on En by Rn divided by one by R1 plus one by R2 plus one by R3. So this would be how much? This is E by R plus uh, E by R plus E by R. And uh, this is one by R plus one by R plus one by R. So that would be how much? So that is M E by R divided by M by R. So this part, this part will cancel, R, R will cancel, so this is equal to E. So for the parallel case, this is the equivalent E, when you have same uh, EMF, and then uh, internal resistance, one by R equivalent. This is uh, equal to one by R1 plus one by R2 plus one by R3 up to M terms. So this is uh, M by R, one by R equivalent. So R equivalent is R by M. This is uh, your equivalent R. Then we can calculate uh, the current, which is uh, E equivalent divided by R equivalent plus uh, R. So this would be how much this E equivalent is E divided by R equivalent, which is R by M. 
plus uh, R, right? So this would be M E divided by R plus uh, M R. So this is for the case of uh, this parallel combination. And again, we'll have uh, two cases. So case one would be, case one would be that uh, we have uh, R which is greater than R. So then this we can neglect and I would be M E divided by R. So this is the first case. And uh, case second would be that R is less than R. So then this current uh, would be M E divided by, and uh, R we can neglect. So, this would be M R. So this would be simply I will be M M cancel and E by. So these are the different uh, cases of series and parallel combination. And then we can have uh, the third special case in which uh, what would happen is that uh, we have N series uh, combination. So n uh, rows, and then we have uh, so m columns, and then this is connected to the rows. Okay, so we have uh, this set. If we solve this set, then uh, what would uh, happen? So if we solve, uh, we can break this one into two parts, right? First, we solve all these uh, n rows. So we can write it uh, as first solve the series portion. So when we solve this series portion, then this would be, this is E R E R, right? This is e -R -E -R. So this would be N E, right? And then we have uh, N R. N R. Similarly, we have uh, N E and uh, n r right so we have solved this uh, total series one so e equivalent is simply any e and r equivalent is n r so then we have m columns right then now we have to solve so now we have only this uh, single one so we have uh, written this whole one into a single uh, cell. Single cell which has N E E M F and N R internal resistance. Then we solve uh, this one. So we will get uh, E equivalent would be equal to N E and uh, divided by N R plus uh, N E divided by N R plus, uh, okay, we are got uh, disconnected. Yes, we are, you got uh, disconnected somehow. So this is up to M terms. Yeah, so this is up to M terms and uh, divided by, yeah, so for you it is uh, breaking. And then one by R1 is how much? NR. Okay, can we finish early? No, we have to complete uh, this portion then, uh, yeah, so. So NR and uh, NR one by N. 
Oh, it is uh, breaking. Yeah, so then I will check it out. Okay, so N R N R, right? Because uh, R one is uh, how much? R one is N R, and uh, E one is uh, N E, right? So using these uh, things, this would be how much? So M terms. So E equivalent uh, would be how much? This is N part will cancel and this is M E by R divided by this is M by N and uh, R, right? So R, R will cancel, M, M will cancel and uh, you will get N. So this is the E equivalent. Okay, what are you saying? I will inform. Okay, so yeah. So this is the E equivalent and then uh, one by R equivalent. This would be one by R1 plus one by R2 plus up to M terms. Then this would be one by NR plus one by NR and uh, NR up to one by NR M terms. So this would be M by NR. So this is one by R equivalent. So R equivalent uh, would be NR by N. So this is uh, your R equivalent. Then current would be how much? So current is. Uh, E equivalent divided by R equivalent plus R. So E equivalent we have calculated that is uh, NE divided by R equivalent is NR divided by M plus R. So this is uh, NE divided by NR plus MR and this M goes o over uh, here. So the equivalent current is M N E divided by N R plus uh, M R. N gets uh, cancelled. Where is N uh, gets uh, cancelled? N cannot be cancelled, right? Yes. Uh, Aisha, you are joining now, so you are late. Okay, so this would be for the case of, so this is the current. What do you also I have it in that. So there are, so this one is smaller, right? Yeah, so this one is for the case of, Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. So we are just uh, doing the combination of steps. So this is a combination of uh, N cells in a series. So N cells uh, in a series. And then all these uh, same portion in M columns. Right, so this would be the final uh, equivalent uh, resistance, and uh, this would be the equivalent resistance, and this would be the equivalent EMF, and uh, this would be the current. So please uh, note down from here, right? Please note down from uh, where. This part you have a uh, parallel combination, in, uh, this part you didn't write. How much did you write, uh, Pia? This portion you have uh, written, right? Yes. This portion you guys have, yeah. So this portion you have already done in the CBNC course, I have combination of set. Oh, you have not uh, noted it down, right? This part, yeah. So please uh, note down this part. Okay, from pattern combination. 
Yeah, I show you also key then. Yeah, then you will be the one that I think is And whenever you guys want me to scroll down, please uh, just Yeah. Okay, then please uh, the Yes, whenever you guys want me to scroll down, please. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then uh, please get uh, this part. <laughs> and always remember this one. So current is E equivalent divided by R equivalent plus R. So always, we always use this. Uh, okay, one uh, moment. Yes, whenever you guys have wanted it all happen. Yeah. Okay, then I uh, yeah, please.
Yeah, either side. So let me zoom out. Uh, then it will be easy. Is this okay? First, we solve this series, right? So for the series one, we know that what is E equivalent, what is R equivalent. So E, R, E, R, E, R, all these in series. So we can write one uh, cell which represents the group one. So all would be N, E, and N, R. And then N, E, N, R, all these ones in parallel. And how many parallel combination? M uh, parallel combination. Yeah, but anyway, you guys have more to get out like this. Whenever you guys have noted it down, want to scroll down. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, the next uh, topic is we'll do uh, the questions uh, of this one uh, whenever we have covered all these uh, topics, right? So the next topic is uh, Kirchhoff law. And it is uh, very helpful in when we have a different uh, combination of cells and uh, then we have these uh, different kinds of resistance, which we cannot solve 
uh, these three, right? So then we can use this uh, kit chop. So there are two laws. One is called uh, the junction law, junction rule. Junction rule. And the second one is this uh, voltage. So junction rule is also called uh, the current, uh, right? Current law and uh, voltage law. So this is also called KCL, right? And this is called uh, KCL. So Kirchhoff uh, current law, Kirchhoff voltage law. So Kirchhoff current law says that uh, whatever, so let's say this current is coming, this current is, uh, let's say coming, let's say this is I1, this is I2, this is going I3, and this is going I4. So total incoming equal to total uh, output. This is called, so I1, plus uh, I2, this would be equal to I3 plus I4. So this is uh, the junction. And uh, the second one, so this is uh, KCL, and then you have uh, this uh, KVL. So K KVL says that the total voltage in a loop is uh, zero, right? So in a loop, the total potential difference is zero because uh, you are starting from one point and then you are coming back to this point. So potential difference would be zero, right? So that is uh, the voltage rule. And there are sign convention for this uh, KV, right? So let's say that uh, you have this EMF, right? And then you are going from uh, in this direction, right? Then uh, this would be, so this would be negative, right? Then let's say this is V, so this would be minus. And let's say you are taking uh, the loop in this direction, and you are first seeing uh, this one. Right, so you are seeing the lower potential, then this would be plus. Similarly, let's say you are, your current is flowing in this direction and this is the resistance. So let's say this is I, and you are taking the movement or your loop in this direction. So this would be minus I R. And let's say the current is uh, flowing in this direction and you are taking the loop in this direction. So this is the direction of the loop. This is the loop. This is the loop and uh, this is loop. So then this would be plus one. So these are the two pitch off, right? Okay, and uh, then you have this, uh, after Kirchhoff law, you have this heating effect of current. So heating effect of current uh, says that uh, the heat produced by some resistance, so you are using some material and it will have some uh, positive charges, right? So due to this, uh, collision of these positive charges with the negative ones, there would be some heat produced. And that amount of heat is represented by I square R T, right? So when current is a constant, current is constant, then this would be I square R T. And uh, when current is uh, varying, then this would be simply so this would be from T1 to T2. And in here, the current is value. 
varying means uh, say that your current is let's say 3t square plus 4 it's something like this one so if your current is varying this would be t8 produced by that current this is called joule's law of uh, heat and from this you can calculate uh, the power so power is uh, simply rate of uh, change of this heat, right? Or rate of uh, this doing work. So that would be I square R divided by T, right? So this is I square R, or we can say V square by R, or we can say V. So all these are R. Okay. And uh, yeah, after that, we'll talk about uh, the bulb, which are important. So this one is uh, important, this uh, is good. But you guys, before we do that, please uh, put down the question. Then this chapter would be, they will talk about the ammeter and this uh, old meter, then the chapter. Anyway, you guys want me to scroll down? Okay, so you have a uh, it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This part uh, also noted. Thank you. Then let us uh, talk about uh, so we have a bulb, and uh, whenever you buy a bulb, so there are things which are given on the bulb, right? So, yeah, so you have a bulb. So when you buy from the market, then ratings are given, right? So the ratings you can uh, you will have the power rating. That is uh, P naught, and then you have voltage uh, rating. And that is uh, right. So you have some bulb and some ratings would be given. So then you can calculate the resistance. 
So then you can calculate the resistance of uh, that uh, one. So now can you do that? So we know that uh, P is uh, for P naught, which is P naught squared by R. So R would be uh, P naught squared by P. So this you can calculate. Or similarly, let's say it is connected to some device, right? Uh, you know the ratings, but it is uh, connected to some uh, applied voltage. So applied uh, voltage is given, which is let's say V. And then there will be some power dissipated on this uh, part. So that would be P. Then from these uh, two things, you can also calculate the resistance. And the resistance would be how much? That would be V naught squared by P. So these are the two cases for the pulse. Now there are there can be two things, right? That uh, the pulse are connected with the series or the pulse are connected in charge, right? So what would happen if uh, the pulse are connected in series and pulse are connected in parallel. So in series combination, you have uh, two pulse. And this is connected to some. So it has uh, some rating, right? Let's say this is I, and it has some rating P naught and uh, naught, and it has some uh, rating, let's say P naught one, P naught one, and uh, it has some rating of P naught uh, two and uh, V naught uh, two, right? So we know that. Uh, we know that how much is the voltage. So V would be V1 plus uh, V2, right? And we know that the current uh, would be through. So what would be the power, right? So these are connected in series. So V would be, V is, and uh, let's say how much is, uh, let's say, P is V naught uh, or V I, right? So we can calculate uh, the V would be P by I. Right? So this would be how much? This is P by I, and uh, yeah, so this would be P naught and uh, P naught one by I. And this is uh, P naught uh, two by I, right? So then these uh, I will cancel, and uh, power would be simply P naught uh, one plus uh, P naught two. This would be the overall power of the pulse, right? Okay, there is uh, there is something I have not. So if I calculate. Yeah, so in series, uh, this would be the power. Let me check if I'm writing it uh, correctly. So, This would be yeah, the series is a series. Yeah, so how what uh, do we know? We know. Uh, uh, know how much is the R1? 
right? We know what is uh, R1 and what is R2 and uh, what is V0 and what is uh, V0, right? So then uh, what is this connection? Holy so we can calculate uh, this resistance, right? This resistance, this V0 and uh, this V0, all these are related. So we know that V1, right? V1 uh, would be how much? That is the I square R1. And uh, V2 would be how much? That would be I square R2. And how can we calculate this R1? That we have already understood, right? So R1 is uh, V0 square divided by this uh, Okay. And then uh, this uh, R2, this is uh, V0 square uh, divided by this, this is, uh, 1 and this is 2. Right. So then uh, what would be effective resistance? So effective resistance R equivalent would be R also. Can you send the screenshot of the notes as it is uh, breaking? Yeah, yeah. So I will, uh, yeah, I will uh, send. Uh, you take the screenshots, right? So you take the screenshot and then uh, you can take the screenshots, right? So R equivalent would be R1 plus R2, which would be how much? Which would be P naught uh, square divided by P naught 1. And uh, this is V naught 2 square divided by this uh, P naught 2, right? And this would be how much? This would be V square divided by P Right, so this would be R equivalent. So we can write, uh, let's say these are at equal uh, voltage. So we apply the same voltage in which V equals to V naught and uh, this is V naught. So then this would be how much? This part will cancel and we'll get one by two equal to one, my, one by P naught one plus uh, one by P this is uh, for the case of this uh, series combination. So we have two pulse, right? And then the total power dissipated would be one by P naught one plus one by P naught. So this is in series combination. And uh, similarly in uh, parallel combination, in parallel combination, This would be simply you have a two pulse, and these are connected parallel. Uh, then your uh, power would be simply P naught one plus. Uh, so please uh, move down these. Uh, please move down this part. You guys have. Uh, these parts you have noted it down, right? So please uh, note down. Please uh, note down and then, with, so after bulb, you have this uh, ammeter and uh, voltmeter. So we will do that and then uh, down. Okay, please. Yeah, so Aisha has not this. Aisha, did you note down this part? Yeah. Okay, you have already noted it down. So then please.
Oh, a little bit uh, up. Yeah. Yeah. So always uh, remember when are we when we are calculating the series combination, then we write power as i square whenever we are writing because this i is constant right or i is same for each other part. but whenever we are writing parallel combination then we write the power dissipated as a v square by so always uh, remember this okay and from this uh, we solve uh, Yes, whenever you guys have noted it down. Uh, yeah, it's done. Done. Okay. And uh, parallel one also. Yes, or you guys have noted. Uh, yeah. yeah, and remember that why did we take uh, the voltage is the same? Because we know that uh, the voltage rating for all the devices are same, right? So 220 volt. 220 volt is the voltage rating. So they have checked the appliances at uh, this voltage and from the supply we also get uh, the same voltage so that is why this v naught v naught 2 and v is same right so that is why i took uh, the change okay so after this one the last uh, topic is the last topic is a meters ammeters and uh, right so we have a galvanometer which has so we have a galvanometer which has some uh, current and which has some uh, let's say resistance right and to to make uh, this galvanometer an ammeter what do we do so we uh, connect a shunt resistance right to this uh, galvanometer which has which has a yeah so ammeter we connect uh, the shunt resistance pa parallel right so we connect this shunt resistance parallelly to this uh, galvanometer And uh, then this whole thing is getting a supply current R. So this is uh, the actor, right? And then this is connected uh, in series to the devices to measure the current. So uh, the question is asked that what is this uh, shunt resistance, right? So how much is the shunt resistance? So we know that. This current is uh, I, so and this current is G, so from uh, junction rule, right? From junction rule, uh, what would be the for from junction rule? What would be this current? This is I. This is uh, going out I G. So what would be this uh, current? So this is going I. And it is coming out IG, right? Let's say this is X. So we know that X plus IG, that that would be I. So X is uh, I minus uh, IG, right? So this is I minus IG. 
okay so now we have to find out what is the shunt resistance so we know that this is combined in parallel so voltage at uh, this point let's say ab and let's say this is uh, c so voltage at ab this would be equal to voltage at uh, c so how much is the voltage so we are talking about the amperage so vab is uh, ig rg uh, igg right c is uh, current into resistance so current and resistance is g and this is equal to i minus ig and uh, sc so shunt resistance is how much ig g divided by i minus this is how you calculate uh, the shunt resistance right and this has a very low resistance so that your overall overall effective resistance becomes very small right and whenever this uh, overall resistance we have applied this shunt resistance because uh, the galvanometer had a very large uh, resistance right so then we cannot ca calculate the actual measurement of the current so that is why we connected the shunt resistance parallelly to this uh, galvanometer and we reduced uh, the so then we reduced this uh, effective r effect right so that was the idea of ammeter that we have done in the previous videos and this is the shunt resistance okay similarly you have uh, yeah so similarly you have voltmeter and to make a voltmeter what do we do we connect so this is this is the uh, galvanometer and we connect a higher resistance r to this uh, galvanometer right so then Let's say this is uh, I G. So then, what would be the uh, voltage there, or what would be this uh, R? Right. So let's say that uh, total voltage is uh, right. So voltage would be how much? So this is uh, I G G plus uh, R G or whatever R I G. So this uh, voltage would be how much? So V minus uh, I G G divided by this uh, I G. So that is the resistance that you connect with this uh, voltmeter. So this is the voltmeter, and uh, this is uh, your amp. So these are the two uh, right. Uh, so please uh, note it down, and then this chapter is over, and then we'll do the so we'll do all the questions that we have got. I guess uh, we will not uh, get any time, but yeah. So we will do the same for the questions. You guys, please uh, note it down, and then we'll do the questions. These part portion you have already done in your CBS course. That is why I'm not. Uh, should I minimize it more? so we have got uh, disconnected this is uh, this was in series so that is why i wrote uh, this total voltage as v1 plus uh, so that is why we got uh, right
whenever you have uh, noted it down, I shall be prepared. Yeah. yeah, so now let us do some question to understand all these uh, concepts, right? So we quickly uh, did this uh, concept, right? Because so, I'm speeding up because we have to complete all these main questions. So fourth, fifth, fourth chapter will take two class. Fifth term is one six one, so we will quickly complete uh, these neat uh, questions. Okay, so first uh, question is uh, what? So let me. Yeah, so let us do the first. We have uh, this voltage. This is connected to this. This has a uh, this has an internal resistance, and this is connected to this loop. And then we have uh, this loop. So this is. Uh, This has a clear and internal voltage. So this is a uh, one volt, and uh, this is twenty ohm. This is five ohm, and this is uh, ninety volt, and this is uh, six ohm. So we have to calculate uh, value of current flowing in this. Uh, so the question is that find the current flowing in six volts. So this is what we have to find out, right? So we can draw this diagram in this manner. So this is our six volt, and uh, we have one uh, combination which is uh, this one. This is 90 volt, and then this is resistance is five. So this is one cell, and then we have another cell which is uh, 140 and uh, 20. So this is a parallel voltage, right? And uh, we know that. So current, uh, we have to find out what is the current in six volts, right? So we already know that uh, the current would be E equivalent divided by R equivalent plus may R. So to calculate uh, this current, uh, let us find out for the E equivalent, right? So in parallel, in parallel, uh, what do we know that? E equivalent divided by R equivalent. That is E1 by R1 plus E2 by R. Similarly, 1 by R equivalent is uh, 1 by R1 plus 1 by R. Right. So we will use this to calculate uh, E equivalent. And 1 by R equivalent is uh, how much? 1 by R1 plus uh, 1 by R. So 1 by R equivalent, that how much? So 
that uh, would be 1 by 5 plus 1 by 20. This is 1 by R equivalent. And uh, similarly, P equivalent uh, by R equivalent. That would be 140 by 20 plus uh, 90 by 5. So we'll calculate E equivalent and we'll calculate R equivalent and we'll put this value. So please uh, note down this problem and uh, yeah, in the next class, uh, please tell me the solution. Know the methods. So please uh, tell me the, the answer. Okay. Yeah, in the next class, uh, we'll start the moving charges and magnitude. We'll speed up and whenever you have noted it down, please.